Great report. Thank I you. know we're going to see more of it, Alexandra. You were there just recently. How have things changed? Because we've seen this going on for weeks now. I think it's just growing. The yeah. problem's just getting worse. And the more coverage it gets, right. the more the president is talking about it, they don't speak English. These people are from little pueblos yeah. with indigenous languages. Right. All they hear is America, women and children, and they're flooding in. It's just good. And the irony is that they think that the border patrol is there to save them. They think of them as the rescue. So they go to the border, right. they get dumped at the border, and then they wait for border patrol to come rescue them, and they think they're free, that that's it. And they yeah. get handed deportation documents, right. but really they think they're, it says Pormito, they think it means it's a permit to stay. So right. they think once they've made it to the border, they've arrived because they come from, you know, Central America. And then by the time they get all the way through Mexico through that heroin journey, they think by the time they get there yeah. that we're going to help them and they'll let them stay. Talk about their level of education, your sense of that. And, and who is giving them this information? people looking to exploit the situation, the coyotes, the smugglers, the bad guys. And by the way, I'm not allowed to say this because like you're in the journalism business and I think it's really touching you see these women and children right. coming through, right? right looking right. for the American dream. God bless them. But there's a lot you're not seeing in these reports. And those are the people that would not allow to be filmed. And those uh -huh. are the people that are like, you know, I worry yeah. in all of this that we <clears throat> could be facilitating human trafficking. That's my biggest fear is that there are a lot of bad people coming through. Well, you, you can go there, Alexander, because we're only only a beat away from that if it's not already happening when you talk about human trafficking. Right. I mean, what is, what is human trafficking? You talk about what Border Patrol is there to do. They're there to get drugs at the border, right? We're trying to get the bad guys, right? Yeah. But they're just bringing in humans now. That's what the smugglers are doing. They're realizing this is where the money is. Yeah. All of these people had stories about how they gave right. every penny that their whole village had for them to get on a bus to get to the border. You know what they do at the border? I went into, the Mexico, into right. Mexico. Right. What they do is they take a ladder, they take a bus, they drive it from Guatemala to the American border. Right. They pull up at the border, they put a ladder out, and they go, go. Just go. They don't even wait. They just go, go. And then everybody just climbs up the ladder, jumps into America, and they sit and they wait for Border Patrol to arrive. And that's $5,000, please. Right. And that's your whole family's fortune. How long would that take when you were in that experience that you're describing? Well, it's, you know, there's a lot of... Most people, a couple what weeks. What you saw, a couple well, weeks. Well, a couple weeks. I mean, yeah. because there's a lot of, because you know, the Mexicans don't want, right. our Mexican government doesn't right. want them all coming through, so they're trying to make it harder, putting up check. Well, they're trying to do stuff about it, but. Describe what you were saying that's off camera, that you were unable to show us. Well, what is wanna, that stuff? Well, you can see people that have designer clothes, yeah. gold teeth, tattoos. They, they just give you the creeps if you look at them. You know what? Yeah. You can tell what a cartel member looks like. I mean, you've been around the block. If you. Mm -hmm. You can tell. And they're the ones, they're, but they're women too. How is the Border Patrol going to say, you know, you're a good woman, you're a bad woman? How mm -hmm. do they know the difference? The cartel is recruiting more women now. All right. Putting them on the front lines and getting them to smuggle the women through. As you, because you, you obviously have been following this topic, and then you said, I'm going to go down there, spend a week with them. What surprised you out of all this? How naive, innocent, and like, you know, we think of it as you're sitting here in midtown Manhattan trying to intellectualize right. why would they do right, this. Right, right. You have to remember, they come from, you know, I've been, I've seen some of their homes. They, they dirt floors, you know, they, they have nothing. There's gang violence, they're raped, there's all kinds of bad situations. Mm -hmm. They have nothing to lose. So they would just die trying. You come, you do this to your, why would someone dump their four-year-old right. child at a border? Because they have nothing to lose. They're going to come to America or they're going to die trying. So, uh, as many of uh, our viewers know, you are related to the minority leader. I uh, am. You are, isn't that strange? Right. Did you, did you know that, Alexandra? <laughs> uh, just want to let you know, actually, the viewers knew that. You figured that out. What's the conversation like with this, with your mom on this very topic? I said, go down there. That's mm -hmm. what I said. Go down there. She's going there tomorrow. Check it out. I think every member of Congress needs to go down there. There's no way that you can understand mm -hmm. what is going on at our borders unless you go see it. And the part that's offensive is that usually when John McCain brings people down there, they go and they stand at the good fence. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, look, this is the fence. Yeah. You go five miles out of town and it's barbed wire. Yeah. Everybody needs to go down there and see, because there's, I think, this is just me, I think that this whole securing the border is just a hoax. I think there's no way you can secure the border. I think that politicians say that so that we can sleep at night. It makes us feel good. Oh, we're going to secure the border. There's no way you can prevent these people from coming. There's no, you have to come up with better solutions than building a fence, because that's just a fairy tale solution that's never going to work. And anyone who goes down there can figure that out. And that's what I tell all the members of Congress, every single member of Congress, go down to the border and check this out. You would not believe what's going on down there. It really is a humanitarian crisis.